Hey, Trevor. What model car are you going to build for the Monster Hobby's 2022 model car group build? Well, Danny, I'm really glad you asked that question. I've got this model car that I've been wanting to build for a really long time because an old customer of mine gave me a whole bunch of parts and pieces and instructions and everything. And I've got a base kit and a bunch of old Styline parts. So let's just go down to the bench and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I have a couple of these classic model car sets with the 57 T-Bird, 57 Ford, and 63 Ford Galaxy. And what I'd like to really focus in on is building this 1957 Thunderbird kit. This AMT 1957 Thunderbird kit from 1993 is really quite simplistic with a lot of easy build parts. Of course, a few custom bits and pieces here and there, especially this really cool roof down here, and two chrome parts trees, one of the which being the engine part tree, which is completely chrome, as well as these great tires. Inside this black tin box, I've assembled all the old Styline parts for the 1957 Ford that I got from that great customer. This is the instruction sheet, of course. You may recognize this picture down at the bottom as being our thumbnail image. I'll take a look at these in a minute. There we have some of the white plastic components. Well, here's our chrome motor, actually. There's the white components with a bit of chrome in there. Again, some really cool things. There's a T-top, or actually one of the tops with the T-top style roof. Then we've got a few of the clear pieces still remaining and a complete chrome tree. This one includes wire wheels, which are not in the 1993 version. Again, some really cool stuff. So let's dive into that instruction sheet. So here's our instruction sheet with, of course, the stock customized and stylized bodies in here. Again, very cool artwork. We have this really cool short story on styling, which includes different types of bodies and ideas that you could build into your custom like this long overhanging back end and the custom nose piece. There's also this version of the back end, or you can actually shorten it up and bob the back end, make it more like a sports car sort of deal. There's different sides as well as different wheel cutouts that you can try as well. Now the stock build of this kit is very identical to the 1993 edition. However, with the Styline parts that are not included anymore, you do get these nice custom skirts, you get side pipes, side pipe shrouds, a different type of grill, some bullets to insert in there, custom headlight bezels, which I think are a little bit longer, more like a sunken style, then the front pan and the bumperettes. I guess if this would be more French, is what I'm trying to say. There's also a telephone and a carrier case, optional seat belts, because in 57, well, they weren't standard yet, although Ford did have seatbelts back then. There's uh, nacelles for putting on the back, as well as custom chrome bezels and different backup lights you can use, as well as a rear grill and a rear rolled pan. Here's some general instructions for attaching styling components. They show this nice nose going on here, and they show you the overlap and how to bevel the edges, and then use your filler and sand it and then spray painting. Down here they had upholstery stickers in the original kit, which are no longer available, and a trophy. Now here's the stylizing parts, and it says where you are the designer. I really wish some of these were still in the parts that the customer gave me, but they're long gone or used. But there's this Batmobile type nose on here, which is really cool. The upper extension with those bat style headlamps, and then the lower extension. Then out back, you also have a upper deck extension, so you can extend out your trunk line, top and bottom, which is really cool. There's some scoops for the nose of that uh, awesome Batmobile thing. There's that top that's still included in the 1993 kit. They also give you these little widgets up here, which you can add anywhere on your car. They suggest using these as headrests, which again is really cool. Now carrying on with the Batman-type front grille, Here's the clear headlight covers, which I do have going in place, the vertical tooth grill, and the Nerf bars. And out back, you get these really neat extended rear tail lamps, and again, some more Nerf bars. 
For another alternative version, you can use this chrome deck extension cover and then these half tail lights, which would fit into the top of the backs of the 57 T-Bird tail lights. And then there's more of these shapes, these universal fillers, which you can sink in and use as uh, fender scoops, which are popular in the day. You could also mount the spare tire on here and then use these different style custom bezels, which are not the full pan, but sort of like a half, and then add on that red tail lamp. So again, a lot of really cool styline features that unfortunately are not around. And on the back of the instructions, you also get some really good, cool custom hints by George Barris. Here's a street rod version that he's come up with, which uses the a la carte side pipes and a 1936 convertible Ford roof on there, and many other cool features. Here's a drag bird, which is using the big blower up there, as well as the lake pipes that pop out the, or the straight pipes that pop out the bottom, not lake pipes. There's different mag wheels that are on there. The old uh, spoke type that I think would look cool if you actually had four all the way around. But again, that's up to you. And then a Bonneville bird, and this uses 36 Ford headlamps. The actual housings glued on the front in reverse and molded into shape to give that Bonneville uh, aerodynamic look. And then you get these little injector stacks you can put in, a chopped down windshield, and a roll bar from the 32 Ford Roadster, and then moon hubcaps. And then this is a little display shelf that comes in with it that you can hook your cars on and link in multiple cars as well. These are the styline parts that I have that still remain in this model kit. There are some cool things. There's those little uh, things I suggested as using as headrests. Here's some more of those shapes for scoops. And then the front rolled pan. There's our fender skirts for the side. Those little nacelles that go on the back. Here's our headlights. These are the stock ones. And these are the sunken and pointed type of uh, custom headlight that we have. We've got a hood that's smooth. There's the scoop if you want to glue it on. And then this is one of those nose scoops from that custom Batmobile front end. There's the chrome flat piece for the other end. Unfortunately, that end is missing. There's the headlight covers for the bat nose that's missing. Tail lamps for the missing bits. I know, I know. There's the little uh, bracket for mounting those tail lamps. Unfortunately, the bottom is missing. Then we've got those nerfs in there. There's the little uh, chrome extensions that go on the back of these nacelles. Wire wheels off the side. Really cool stuff on the old vintage parts. It would be nice if these made a comeback, maybe under round two. We also get some little lake pipes on here, which would be really cool. The spare tire, the uh, cover for that. Again, awesome stuff. I love those uh, wire wheels. I think I should utilize those. And then Nerf Overrider bumpers for the front. I know I put that in a little hard to see spot, didn't I? I do have some more styling pieces. I'm not 100% sure if all of them are for this kit, but I'll show those next. Here are more styline pieces that I did put in the box. These are fender skirts. This is a tonneau cover. I do believe this is some race equipment or maybe even a heater motor or something like that for inside your car. Here we have some side scoops, little tiny headrests, I believe. A couple of weird parts, I don't know, for the front maybe. Something to uh, blank off a bumper. There is a really cool racing headrest here. And then this fastback roof. This one has T-tops and the glass swing up to help you get in the car. And this is the hinge arrangement for up underneath. And then we've got this little grill. But the more I look at these parts, the more I think these belong to AMT's 1962 Corvette kit. I could be wrong. Just let me know in the comments section down below. With the custom parts that are left from the previous model builder, I do believe this is the sort of car that I could build with that collection. Although, considering that no one has actually seen these pieces used on a car in many, many decades, actually going back to probably 1962, this should be a really fun build and look really cool once I'm all done. Oh wow, that's going to look really awesome. I can't wait to see that. I really can't wait to see what everybody else is going to build, and I sure look forward to clicking on that hashtag, of course, and seeing what the results are. So until next time, everybody, happy model building, and I'll look forward to seeing your builds.